September 27, 2015. Pashi90 needs a replacement for his teammate for this upcoming ESL weekly tournament. He takes a chance on a 12 year old named Scrubkiller. They would end up getting second, losing to Flipside Tactics, who was widely regarded as the best team at the time. Pashi's teammate would take back his spot, and Scrubkiller would then start participating in these weekly ESL tournaments himself, eventually winning his first one four months later with Greasy Meister and Maestro. Scrubkiller started exploding across the scene for being so good at such a young age. Johnny Boy would invite him onto his stream for a show match against Marky Duda, the player that would later win the second world championship. He just has to kill the time now. Marky's gonna try and keep it up. Scrubkiller says no. That's gonna be game. Oh, Scrub keeps it up though. And that's gonna be game. So, good game. Scrub beats him 4-3. As time went on, Scrub would enter more and more weekly and monthly 3v3 tournaments. Now I'm not sure what time Scrub started streaming, but it was around 2017. Scrub would stream quite often and would grow due to his funny and weird reactions on stream. No. Bluey! He owned gold, chat! He owned gold! He on gold! Cheeky bastards. Ah! Not only that, but he would keep doing show matches and keep climbing the 1v1 ranked ladder. He beat many other pros like Cuxier, Cronovi, JNaps, Cronovi, Cronovi, Cuxier, Over Zero, Cuxier. Notice how he beat Cronovi and Cuxier multiple times. These two were considered one of the best players of the time, both being world champions. Scrub Killa more than proved himself, and now it was only a matter of time before he was old enough to play RLCS. Scrub was signed to Renault Vitality on August 4th, 2018 for RLCS Season 6, where he would team with Pass G90 and Fairy Peak. Even though they got 4th in league play, they would lose the first round of playoffs, finishing 6th for the season. Since Dignitas was beaten by Cloud9 in Season 6, Kadop was looking for a new roster. Kadop ended up moving to Vitality in the place of Pashi90. This change would propel the team to new heights and make them a team to be scared of. The 1v1 master, the French goat, and the cutting edge of new talent went 6-1 in league play and got first in the playoffs, which means they got first seed heading into the world championship. This was Scrubkiller's first land. No one really knew how he would perform, if he would at all. Although he has been to them in the past as a viewer, this time, he was here as a player. And not only that, but he was the first seed from Europe. They get second in their group losing to G2. With their seeding, they have to face NRG. They start off a bit shaky, but they reverse sweep. Then Cloud9, the previous world champions, and the team that beat K-Dop last season. But Vitaly didn't let that get to them. They swept them, only allowing two goals from Cloud9. At this point, Scrubkiller has proven himself. He is performing and he has definitely made an impact on the team. But G2 is their next opponent. G2 is the only team to have beat them so far. And towards the end of game one, it wasn't looking too great. If they lose this, G2 will have momentum and considering that they just swept Rogue, G2 might be unstoppable if they get that momentum. But Scrubkiller wants it more than anyone. He is in the grand finals and he doesn't want to give up this chance of being a world champion. So he clutches up. This goal completely changed the feel of the series. It went from G2 looking like they were running circles around Vitality to Vitality looking alive, refreshed, and ready to do some damage. And oh boy, did they hurt G2. Oh, and he can't save it! Very big! Jadaps have to flip around, try to make 
And now it's Scrum Killer to the... That shot is good! Chicago's got it! Jason Wilson! Rizzo sends it back in. Very big. Flips around. Oh, Rizzo scores! On field. Rizzo. Around the corner, Skokula has the demo. Kate up around. Very big down. Very big scores! And with that vitality, take it all. Three Titans, one team. One all vitality. Your world champions. They beat G2 four one, and Scrub, being a land rookie, has become a world champion and is awarded the MVP of the tournament. Season 8 comes and Vitality go for 3 in league play. Not as dominant, but still enough to get into the playoffs where they get 2nd. As the 2nd seed, they are put into Group A and beat E United, but lose to NRG. In the playoffs, they beat Pittsburgh Knights 4-2 and have one of the most entertaining overtimes ever against Dignitas where they beat them 4-3. The Grand Finals. NRG versus Renault Vitality. Scrub Killer is now 16 and he's been playing Rocket League for four years. Essentially a quarter of his life so far, he has spent grinding for this. Scrub Killer went from a 12 year old that was kinda good to a 15 year old that won his first LAN. He is surrounded by some of the best players in the world and Scrub Killer is known to perform, but NRG has already beaten them once before in this tournament. Will Vitality resist their rivals? Or will they lose their second world championship title? Great play to this corner. Very pin. He's got past two players. Looks for a buff. Garrett G clears lots. Justin! Justin! Energy win their first world championship, leaving Vitality in second. Also say that getting second isn't bad, but Vitality wanted to reconsider their options as some drama was happening within the team. In the offseason, Scrub Killer would be kicked for a new player by the name of Alpha 54. Scrub Killer would find his new spot on Mouse Esports alongside Speed and Cookser 97. Season 9 would be cancelled due to COVID, but Mouse Sports would come forth. Season X would be announced and Scrub Killer would move to Guild Esports with Noli and Tho. They would get 8th in the group, but then would get 1st in Stage 2, then get last in the playoffs. This kind of barely getting by continues for the rest of Fall, and in the offseason between Fall and Winter, Scrub would be dropped for Devo. Then he would go to Singularity with Hibs and Breezy, and they would get 12th, 12th, and 24th. After this, Scrub Killer would be considered washed, rusty, and the hype surrounding him would essentially disappear. Scrub Killer was slowly fading away, and if you never watched his streams, you wouldn't really see him anymore. Breezy, you fucking shitter! Scrub sits out of the spring split of RLCSX, and comes back with apparently Jack and Joria's on Dignitas in the next season. They start out great getting top 4 twice and a win over Vitality. This gets them second seed for Europe heading into the Fall Major. In the Swiss stage, they didn't drop a single game. However, they would come top 8 in the playoffs losing to Semper in 7. Although people expected them to go farther, this is still a really good result. Top 8 at the Major isn't bad, but they still had time to work on the playstyle and get better. Winter comes, and Dignitas gets second in the first regional by clawing their way through the lower bracket and losing to Team Queso. In the second regional, Dignitas gets top 6, again going through the lower bracket, and again losing to Team Queso. In the third regional, Dignitas wins the group, but gets third, losing again to Team Queso. Dignitas comes into the Winter Major as the second seed again. They get a free buy into the playoffs as Sandrock Gaming wasn't able to make it to the LAN. Dignitas has a few question marks surrounding them. They seem to do well online, but can they transfer that into an offline environment? In the fall, they struggled against Semper, but now at the Winter Major, they had a chance to redeem themselves. All they have to do is top their group, and they would get top 6. Space Station Gaming is a team that they can beat, and it is the team that is stopping them from winning their group. Space Station comes back to reverse sweep Dignitas, and then Dignitas goes on to lose the first round of the lower bracket to Evil Geniuses in another reverse sweep. This is the event that most people think of when asked to point out where Dignitas went wrong, as the next split would go very badly. They'd get 12th, 12th, and 6th. Not enough points for the Spring Major. They would also miss out on the automatic placing for the World Championship and would have to fight it out in the wildcard stage. Dignitas would win against Gaiman Gladiators, O1 Esports, and Space Station, getting them into the group stage of the World Championship, where their run would be quickly ended by Team Falcons, and they finished 16th. Everyone can see the form of Dignitas falling apart and slowly going downhill. 
so it wasn't a surprise when it was announced that the team has disbanded after the World Championship. Apparently Jack would go to Gen G, Jorius would go to Oxygen, and Scrub Killer would go to SK Gaming. He would team with Nas and RXII, I think that I think its name is Rai. But Scrub's slow decline would continue and they wouldn't make a regional and would always go out in the qualifiers. For fall and winter, Scrub would be unable to make a regional and many people started wondering where Scrub has gone. He wasn't on the mainstream and he wasn't even making regionals. Scrub Killer was no longer looked at as an amazing player, but a player that has fallen from grace extremely fast. People didn't even know that he was dropped from the SK starting roster because of how irrelevant they were. Scrub Killer had disappeared from the main stage and Scrub was no longer a player to look at or care about. May 12th, 2023. Spring Regional 1 was starting and a new unsigned team has popped up under the name Hogan Mode. New unsigned teams making it into regionals happens quite often, so it wasn't that noteworthy. However, Hogan Mode was different. Hogan Mode was made up of Growly, who hasn't been in a regional since winter last year, Rezzy, who hasn't been in a regional since last spring, and Scrub Killer, who hasn't been seen since the World Championship. But these three players would make a run no one thought was possible. They take a game off of Carmine Corp, but ultimately lose, getting top 6. For Regional 2, Hogan Mode go out in the close qualifier, and they don't make the regional. This also means that they have to win the next regional, and beat Moist in a tiebreaker in order to make them major. Very unlikely, well, pretty much impossible considering Vitality is dominating, but for Regional 3, the fan favorites are back, and better than ever before. Pokemon end up coming third, losing to Team BDS. Although they didn't make the craziest run of all time, beating Vitality and then beating Moist to get to the Major, Hogan Mode proved that not only is Scrub Killer still a good player, but also gave a huge amount of exposure for Growly and Rezzy. Hogan Mode is a team to watch out in the coming season, and here's a clip from Rise that explains what everyone is thinking. Next season. Next season they got it. Yeah, I was thinking I about think that too. Stay together, though. Yeah, okay, so they, they they should, I, I've that. said to them, I've said to them several times to Growly and Rezzy, if I see a Hogan mode change in this offseason, I'm literally blocking them on everything. I'll be fuming. <laughs> <laughs> 